Well, giving thanks is someone, uh, something a World War II veteran living in Arroyo City does every day. The 90-year-old U.S. Marine veteran hasn't always had an easy life, but it's been full of adventure. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez in our Cameron County newsroom tonight to tell us more about this veteran's zeal for life. Jerry Fezenmeyer is 90 years old. He wants to live another 100 years. That's the type of enthusiasm he has for life. He's chosen to take the high road despite suffering a life-altering injury during his time in World War II. Life is tough. It's what you choose to make of it that really counts. At least that's how Jerry Fezenmeyer sees it. The 90-year-old World War II veteran, originally from Iowa, now spends his days in Arroyo City. Then I had a boat by the end. I, I would go from here to there, and I really liked it here. His memory intact, Fezenmeyer recalls his days as an 18-year-old young man fighting in Okinawa, Japan during World War II. It's one way it's a big adventure, other ways it's hell. When they say war is hell, they mean it. Just days into combat, Fezenmeyer was shot in the shoulder. The bullet traveled through his torso, injuring his spine. He was paralyzed. He was upset. I cried because I wanted to get back in combat. Well, there's where your friends are. It's, it's, uh, that's everybody you know, that's where they are, and you, you, you're kind of letting them down because you can't go back. Fezenmeyer tells us becoming paralyzed didn't phase him. After all, he was alive. They put me in a hospital up in Oakland, California, with all these other guys that were paralyzed. And, you know, it's never bothered me. It's strange to say that. But there's all these other guys that all around you dying and worse shape than you are. Years without being able to move his legs led to painful complications. In his mid-20s, Fezenmeyer chose to have his legs amputated. It didn't slow him down. I've been whale watching from airplanes and hunting goats up in the mountains and flying into waterfalls and things like that. So, you know, it's, what more could he ask for? It didn't change his outlook on life. Hey, I've had a good life. And it's been an interesting life. And I've seen some things that are so pretty, I just couldn't imagine. Fezenmeyer even went on to play in a basketball league for paraplegic veterans and made the cover of this magazine. He traveled the world. He lived in Mexico for more than 20 years and married three times. Even at 90, he says he wouldn't mind getting hitched at least one more time. I mean, there's so many beautiful things in this world, including so many beautiful women. That's what I really like. His caretaker, Laura, tells us Fezenmeyer still feels back pain from the gunshot wound he suffered more than 70 years ago. He sometimes complains about pain in his legs, something known as phantom pain, or pain felt in limbs no longer there. Fezenmeyer lives life at a grander scale, beyond the challenges. He wishes more people could do the same. It's been a beautiful life. I've met a lot of beautiful people and seen a lot of beautiful things. I just love living. So much, he's hoping for another 100 years. Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News.